Hello, my name is Tim Edwards, and welcome to the Tim G. Edwards Music YouTube channel. This is guitar lesson number five, and today we're going to be learning the three finger riff and playing the 12 bar blues. This is the final in uh, part four of the four part series in learning how to play the 12 bar blues. We started out learning uh, the chord progression uh, to this tune uh, using the chords of A, D, and E. And then the second part was adding the one finger riff, and then we added the two finger riff, and today uh, we're going to be learning the three finger riff and uh, just making uh, this 12 bar blue uh, rhythm pattern fun to learn and, and enjoyable to play. And we can play this tune fast or we can play it slow, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll just have a great time in, in learning this final three finger riff. If you haven't had the opportunity to subscribe to my channel, please do so when you get a chance. So, so, just so you can be kept notified when new videos have been uploaded. So let's uh, get started and, and have a great time in learning today. Okay, today we're gonna to learn the three finger rift and uh, this concludes our four part series and learning the 12 bar blues. We started out using, again, the chords of A, D, and E, and then added the one finger rift, two finger rift, and today the three finger rift. And we're just adding on where we uh, ended up uh, with the previous lesson. So it won't be hard. We'll just be using the frets two uh, and four, but we're gonna be adding the fret of five as well into the each of the bars. So, so let's look at the tablature up above. And if you notice, we, we start off again with uh, uh, our index finger on the D string on the second fret. And then last, the previous lesson, we went to the fourth fret off and on, okay? Now we're gonna be adding the fifth fret and you'll have to do that with your pinky finger, little finger, like you see here, okay? So it'll be two beats on the second fret, two beats on the fourth fret, two beats on the fifth fret, and then lift off the fifth fret and sound the two beats on the fourth fret. And that's how you'll end the bar or that measure, okay? So it'll sound something like this, okay? So that's one bar. So if you notice, all the bars, uh, first four bars are all the same. So it'll sound something like this. One, two, three, four. That's the first four measures. Now let's look at the next set of four on the tablature up above. You got two measures with your finger down below. Okay, your, your index on the G string and letting the D, playing in the chord of D, letting the D string, that fourth string, ring out. You'll play two measures of that. And then notice bar seven and bar eight, you'll go back to the A string again and play two measures of that. So. So it'll sound something like this. Okay. Now let's look at the last four on the tablature. We're going to be changing quite a bit. So we're going to go back up to that top A string and letting the top E string ring out and play one bar of that and then switch, skip a string and go back down to the G string and letting the D string ring out, chord of D, one bar, and then back to A, you see, and then we'll go back to the final E and on that. And then like I said, on that last bar 12, don't play on this case, don't play the fourth fret or the fifth fret. Just keep, keep it on that A, okay? Don't play the fourth and don't play the fifth and uh, just that that way we can end with that okay so uh so playing the last four uh measures will sound something like this we're going to start off with the e okay so it sounds something like this and 
again, notice we play that one beat on the A just to end the song. So it's not that hard when you put it all together. So let's, uh, let's try it with the backing track, okay? It'd be a slow tempo. Again, you'll see both hands of me playing, strumming, as well as the fingering, uh, and it'll be at this uh, slower, slower rate of speed, okay? So let's pivot back to the backing track. How was that? Stretching your fingers, huh? But it sounds great. Uh, I, I like playing this. I, I kind of like playing this at a faster speed and just kind of mixing it up. Uh, I usually like at least a two finger rift all the time uh, and then occasionally maybe adding a four, but you can play it all the time or, or just mix it up. But, uh, but it's a good way to, to learn and stretch your, stretch your fingers, okay? So let's pivot back to the backing track one more time. Okay, this time you'll see me play, but you will not hear me play. Okay, you you can see me play, but you will not hear me play. Same rate of speed, it'll be, be slow, uh, so you'll hear yourself play more, okay? So let's give it a try. How did you do? I'm sure you did did very good. Uh, it's it is a stretch on your fingers, but you can do it. Uh, it does take practice. Uh, and again, the key is start off slow. Start off slow and try to, to try to make sure you're just hitting those two strings only uh, between the chords and uh, hitting those frets only. You know, uh, between each of the bars and so forth. But practice slow, and then gradually use that uh, practice backing track number five. Uh, to learn how to play the, at the medium speed and then at the fast speed as well, okay? Okay, we're going to speed it up now. We're going to speed it up to the medium speed uh, on the backing track. You will not see me play uh, or hear me play. It'll just be the backing track only, and you'll be playing with that at a little bit at faster speed. I'll still have the tablature uh, up above just for your reference so you can play together. So, so let's give the medium speed a try, okay? Let's go.
how did you do at the medium speed? Pretty good? I'm sure you did. Uh, it, it gets easier as you practice. And again, I think the faster you play, the easier it kind of gets a little bit because you're not stretching your fingers uh, for a longer period of time. It's, it, yeah, uh, it's, uh, you're changing, changing fingering uh, pretty rapidly there. So uh, lastly, let's, let's pivot back to the backing track. And this is gonna be at the fast speed. Again, you won't see me play, but I'll have the tablature up there for your reference to play. But uh, I think you'll find it more enjoyable at the faster uh, speed there. So let's give it a try. How did you do? That was great. Hopefully you've enjoyed uh, learning the 12 bar blues in different ways. And again, this 12 bar blues just opens up hundreds of songs to you. A lot of songs are played in this kind of chord progression and it may be using different chords. Okay, you, you can use, uh, you don't have to use A, D, and E, but you can use uh, three other type of chords. Uh, and you'll be probably learning those in future lessons. Uh, but, uh, Again, songs can be played fast or they can be played slow. It's just kind of a matter of, matter of preference. And you can add some of these riffs to some other songs uh, as well. So hopefully you've enjoyed learning the 12 bar blues. And again, reference back to some of these practice backing tracks, just to practice and get in faster at, at changing between chords and playing these uh, three finger riffs or two finger or one finger riffs. But just practice as often as possible. And I hope you've enjoyed that. And, uh, and if you know anybody else that can play the guitar, uh, maybe they can play the chords while you play the, the three finger rift or the two finger or the one finger rift. And y'all could take turns. Maybe you could play the chords and they could play the, the finger riffs if they know them. Or you can teach them the finger riffs. But uh, you'll enjoy uh, playing uh, these riffs along with uh, some other partners and playing the guitars and so forth or it's fun just playing them by themselves. Hope you've had a great time in, in this lesson. Uh, I've, I've really enjoyed this uh, four part series and learning how to play the 12 bar blues and uh, hopefully uh, you'll reference back from time to time. Tell a friend about uh, what you've learned. Show a friend what you've learned and, uh, and be sure and reference them to this uh, YouTube channel, Tim G. Edwards Music YouTube channel. So if you like this channel, be sure and hit like. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please do so when you get a chance, just so you'll be kept notified when new video lessons have been uploaded. So let's have a great time, and I'll see you at the next lesson.